हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्ट यू बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द ॲडवेंट ऑफ जेनेटिक टेक्नॉलॉजी इन आय बी एफ दॅट हेल्प्स अस टू डिटेक्ट क्रोमोझोमल डिसऑर्डर्स इन द एम्ब्रिओज नाव वेन एव्हर वी मेक बेबीज आर्टिफिशियली विथ द हेल्प ऑफ आय बी एफ ऑर इक्सी टेक्नॉलॉजी द मोस्ट कॉमन क्वेश्चन दॅट द पेशंट अँड हर रिलेटिव्ह आस्कस इज डॉक्टर विल दे बे एनी काइंड ऑफ अबनॉमलिटीज इन अवर चाइल्ड विल द बेबी बी मेंटली ऑर फिजिकली ॲज नॉर्मल ॲज अ नॅचरली कन्सिव्ह चाइल्ड ऑर आर देर एनी टेस्ट विच आर ॲवेलेबल टू आयडेंटिफाय वेदर द बेबी विच वी हॅव इन्सर्टेड इज जेनेटिकली नॉर्मल ऑर नॉट अँड द आन्सर टू दिस इज द ॲडवेंट ऑफ द रिसेंट मोस्ट टेक्नॉलॉजी इन जेनेटिक सायन्सेस विच इज नोन ॲज पी जी टी ए ऑर पी जी एस पी जी डी नाव दिस प्री इम्प्लांटेशन जेनेटिक टेस्टिंग इज mandatory in a few countries but in our country it is optional it is generally subjected to patients with very advanced stage like the mother's age is more than 35 years if there is any problem with the growth of the embryo if it is a slow growing embryo or asynchronous that is one cell big one cell small and supposedly or seemingly slightly abnormal looking embryos can all be subjected with consent and with legalities for a pgta testing now this pre implantic genetic testing is basically for mainly three main chromosomes 13 18 and 21 chromosome number 21 if affected causes down syndrome which is of a very big concern because it causes mental retardation apart from other physical abnormalities so all in all if we want to know whether the embryo which we have formed is genetically normal or not the these technologies can be resorted to which will help us get a chromosomal mapping of our child and it will also help us to know which baby of the given embryos is chromosomally abnormal so before transferring the baby this pgta testing has to be done once your embryo is formed to a blastocyst stage at the blastocyst stage the biopsy of the baby is taken and it is sent to genetic labs with due consents for abnormality testing now suppose we send five embryos of which two embryos come aneuploid or abnormal these two embryos are discarded and the normal chromosome embryos which are the euploid embryos are transferred into the womb of the mother subsequently by frozen embryo transfer so this technology is definitely a boon to patients who have had abnormal babies in the past or who might have an abnormal child due to certain additional factors and the genetic technology is a breakthrough as it helps us to identify major chromosomal abnormalities before the baby is born and hence in fact in this case before we even embryo transplant the baby we can get to know about the normalcy of the chromosomes thank you